All right, hello, welcome back everybody. PayPal and Patreon are down below if you want to support me. I only do so if you actually can. So I apologize for any potential audio glitches. My mic seems to maybe be starting to fail after seven or eight years of service. But anyways, before I make a Reservoir Water Levels video for this month, I wanted to actually talk on something that someone brought up to me in comments last year that I was never actually thinking of up until they mentioned it. You see, in some particular places, those particular places, namely being California, granted this would apply anywhere else in the world where this is happening, they've been going through a pattern for quite some time now of extreme drought. The reservoirs empty out by a huge amount really quickly over the course of just a couple of years, and then massive rainfall swells them back up to nearly full levels within a single season or sometimes two. Particular cycling between the two states of nearly empty versus nearly full is actually structurally dangerous to the dams that actually hold those reservoirs back. You see, the dams, for the most part, are built with the intention that they're going to be in one particular state for prolonged periods of time, usually the intended state being for them to be nearly full, that state being that they would have an immense unfathomable amount of water behind them on one side and you can go ahead and look up the weight of water for yourself per cubic meter and then look at any of these enormous reservoirs and do some basic math and look at that amount of weight that is there they're intended to be usually nearly full and have this immense unfathomable amount of water volume and weight behind them on one side and then nothing on the other that's sort of the difference in applied force that they are designed for so when you start doing this rapid on and off cycling between empty and full, constantly throwing the structure back and forth between its original state of next to no pressure on one side and an enormous amount of pressure from the water on the other side into a state of next to no pressure on one side and then also next to no pressure and no moisture on the other side. And so, although it is extremely solid and it doesn't do so by a huge amount, some feet does expand and contract still, even if it's only by absolutely minute amounts. And the amount it will do so in these cases depends on how quickly or not quickly the pressure applied to one or both sides is changed. Thus, when you start throwing these structures back and forth really rapidly, not a gradual change, but really rapidly, it's particularly the ones in Northern California have been going through, you know, emptying out within like two years and then refilling almost immediately is going to be causing the dam structure to be undergoing expansion when it's really empty and then being forced to contract back to its prior state when it refills again. Granted, again, this expansion and contraction is at absolute minute levels. However, they're not supposed to be going through that. So what does all this mean or lead to? Expansion and contraction inevitably starts to compromise it after you do it enough times to enough scale, which is why you'll see cracks start to appear in concrete or appear in pavement after some odd number of years. So after enough time, it will start to cause faulting in the structure, which is obviously dangerous for a massive dam holding back, you know, many, many cubic miles of water. What's more likely probably going to end up happening at some point is cracks are going to start forming in some of the dams and the dams are watched and surveyed by crews by engineering crews and when cracks are spotted in the structure then that has to you know be repaired work has to be done the reservoir for construction work to be done on the dam or restoration work has to be emptied to at least a huge extent so any, so any reservoir whose dam is undergoing some kind of critical repair has to be emptied. And obviously with the bigger ones, that process would have a huge amount of water supply, of water volume in the water provision system of California, effectively out of existence offline, and thus would then be transferring over the water demand over now spread out onto all the others, which would then put them under additional stress. So this is something that is possible and is becoming very likely. But anyways, that's it for this one. So thank you everybody for sticking around and listening. Like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you haven't already. PayPal and Patreon links are down there if you want to support me. Only do so if you actually can. If you want to go watch stuff that is consistently happy and not bleak, 
then you are welcome to go over to my cat's channel and subscribe to her. But no matter what happens to me anyways, may God bless and protect you all, and I will see you all around next time.